Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a Marky Matchups SBC video. Before we get into this video, if you guys can like, subscribe and share, that will be much appreciated. And let's just get straight into these Marky Matchups. So, as you guys can see, the teams that we've got from EA for this week's Marky Matchups are Sevilla against Betis, uh, Toluca against Guadalajara, I guess that's how it's pronounced, I'm not sure. Then Melbourne victory against uh, Central Coast. And uh, to top it off, we have Torino against Bologna. Now, honestly, I was pretty surprised by the teams that we've got for this week's marquee matchups. Because, for example, usually you get teams that are more hyped. You know, for example, the matches. Uh, tomorrow that, uh, so, so tomorrow we have a match between Chelsea and Arsenal. And I was expecting... Uh, that one of the teams, one of the SBCs would be of Chelsea and Arsenal, but instead we've got these not so hyped teams. And uh, that's how EA has been, you know, recently. They have been really unpredictable with what they uh, put out for their marquee matchups. Uh, in the, the start, I believe it was more of, it was more of obvious what we get for marquee matchups, but recently it has been, it, it has been a bit tricky. And uh, I was also surprised by the requirements that we have for uh, this week's marquee matchups. But I'll get that I get in, I get later into those uh, requirements when we are doing the squads. So let's just get straight into these teams, and I'll see and I'll show you guys how I did it. So what I usually do is I build my team on camera in front of you guys. But instead, since we had four of these uh, teams to build, I thought it would be more appropriate uh, to already to like build the teams and then show you guys how I've done it if I have used the players that I had from my squad or if I've if I've gone to buy players and use those instead so for this one as you guys can see the requirements were Sevilla or Betis players minimum three uh, La Liga players minimum six rare players minimum two uh, rating minimum 78, chemistry minimum 95, and the numbers of players in the squad 11. And uh, I think with this uh, one, you could have used, like as it, as it says, the, the requirements are La Liga Santander player minimum 6, so you could have used the other 5 from another league. But I just used La Liga just for the sake of it because I thought that would be easier. And that did get me the job done. So as you guys can see, I have the rating 78. And then I have the chemistry 100. And uh, what I've done for this SPC is that I was lucky enough to have all the players in my uh, squad. So I didn't go and buy any of uh, the players for this SPC. So as you guys can see, it's the first one of all of them. And then I've got a few incredible ones. And uh, I know that there are many FIFA players that don't have all the players in their squad and uh, well my advice to those uh, players will be that when you get your packs and when you open them if you if you get the players that don't go for more than say 3 or 4k don't sell them keep them in your squad instead in your club because then you can use them for the SBC later or the, or maybe you can also if you don't if you don't like doing the SBCs maybe you can sell them instead and uh, earn profit on those because the players that you sell for 1k might be selling for 3k when their SPCs drop, you know. So that would be my uh, suggestion is, and that's what I do. I don't sell these players uh, uh, since they're going for only 1k uh, because I like a bigger profit. And then there's no point of selling for 1k, you know. You can just keep them in, their, in your squad and then just use them for your SPC or sell them, like I said, when... Uh, they are hyped so as you guys can see uh the three sevilla players that i've used are this guy this guy and then the goalie uh and then you can see on my right side i've used the players that are only 76 rated so this guy and this guy and then this center back and the right back they're only 76 rated and then uh, i've also used a 70 rated and i'm not sure how that quite add up to like the rating of 78 that is required for this SPC, uh, but I was able to do it, so I just did it. Uh, I mean, I had another player here, but then I just 
went uh, and tried with this guy and then I was able to get it done so why not I just did it and I'll also suggest you guys to see that for example the reason that I've used the spirit is that because I only had uh, one or two left mid uh, guys from La Liga I think and I've got quite a few center mids so I tried with this guy and it worked so I just did it and we just go ahead and uh, submit the squad and claim our rewards which is a premium gold jumbo premium gold pack and uh, just hope on getting something good uh, so that's that one done and then for this squad I basically did the same th uh, thing I used the players that I already had in my squad and as you guys can see the requirements for this one are uh, Toluca or Guadalajara players minimum one I was really surprised by that that it was only one of those one, one players from either of those teams uh, I mean that saves quite money you know so I mean and, uh, and again I was lucky I already had this guy from Toluca in my club and then I just used him uh, and uh, as it says the requirements a uh, player from Liga Banco Mir MX should be minimum four what I've done is that I've used six players just to get that chemistry done and then maximum players minimum four I had this guy I had this guy and then I had this guy and I had this guy and then uh, I mean all of my team is gold players and for the for the defense I've just gone with these guys to get me done with the chemistry uh, and that was an easy way to do it because the thing is with these with these like the leagues that are not so high for example this one Toluca one uh, you don't get much players you know in uh, from the packs and then it gets expensive to complete these squads so the best way to complete these squads are use what it says in the requirements you know so for example like I said earlier six players from uh, Liga Banco Mer and then uh, five players for my defense and that was able for me to get the team done uh, I mean there is no the rate there's no rating requirement so that was easy but I mean I'm well above chemistry so that's good and then I'll just go ahead in the team and I'll submit this one as well and uh, claim our rewards. And the rewards that we get for this one is a premium mixed players pack. And let's go to Melbourne Victory and Central Coast now. I think this one, this one, this one was the only one that uh, came expensive for me because I hardly had any players from this league. Uh, I mean, even the players that I had were like the same positions. For for example, they were like a striker or center back, and uh, they were not quite few, you know. So I couldn't use them because I wouldn't have been able to get the chemistry done. So, and as you guys can see from the ratings, uh, you need one player from Melbourne Victory, you need one from Central Coast, and then you need minimum four players from the Australian League, and you need a player minimum one. I've got uh, three in there or like four, but that really doesn't matter. And then uh, the rating is 69 and as you guys can see I have the 69 rating and then the chemistry is 90 and I have uh, 95 so I'm well good on that I mean I, I, I went on to buy this player because I didn't I didn't really have any striker from Australian League uh, and this guy to be honest came really cheap 700 I think is nothing but then this guy uh, was selling for quite a lot as you guys can see I bought him for 2500 and then uh, this one I already had in my uh, squad and uh, this one I bought for 2400 and uh, I think those were the only three players that I bought yeah that was that was or, and also this one for uh, for the chemistry and uh, as you guys can see I'm using a central defensive midfielder on a cam position but that really doesn't matter I mean I'm already good on the chemistry but yeah, again, I've, so for like the for these players, for like my midfield area and my uh, attacking option, I've got with uh, the Australian league, and then uh, for my defense, I've used uh, players that are from the French league, and that was uh, good for me to get this SBC done. And again, that's what I would suggest, and that's that's what my advice to you guys would be that don't 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 only use the players. Uh, that are asked from the specific league because it might not be easy to get it done and then you have to go and buy other players you know uh, to get the squad done and that will become really expensive so for example why I said that was 
I had uh, a center back, I think, from the Australian League, and then I had the right back. But then I had to go buy another center back, a left back, and then a goalkeeper. And right now, the prices for those players, I'm assuming, are really high. So it was easier to get this one done. And this is the way how I did it. And we just go ahead and sub. No, we go, we go ahead and submit the squad. And uh, for this SBC, we get a premium silver pack, players pack. I mean, that's not the best pack. But if you guys can, if you can, if you can get any of those players that are going like that, that are being used for the the same SBCs, that would be great. That's because the bronze and the silver players, since they are not as rare, you know, it's always. Uh, go profit on those players. They always sell for a lot. So if we get something from those If you get something uh, From that bag that is being used for this SPC or this SPC that would be great and let's just get into our last uh, SPC that we had and uh, we that was Torino against Bologna and then uh, As you guys can see the requirements for this one was uh, Torino or Bologna players minimum to uh, Italy players minimum 4, culture A players in minimum 4, team chemistry minimum 90 and the number of players in the squad 11 and again for this one just for the sake of it uh, I used all the players uh, from the from the culture A league and uh, the players that I used from uh, Torino or Bologna I only had two luckily so I didn't have to go and buy anyone I used this guy and then I used this guy and uh, that was that was able to get me the job done as you guys can see i've used a few servers as well a few lower rated i mean for this one we don't and we don't have really a rating requirement so that was a easy one and then i'm again well above the chemistry so that got, that got me the job done and i'll just go ahead and then again some submit uh this and get our rewards and the rewards for this one is one electron players pack and that gets us done with our marquee matchups and uh, we just go ahead and we also get a premium gold players pack for completing these marquee matchups and uh, we just go straight into our uh, store and open the packs and hope that we get something good and make profit so we just go straight to our store and then uh, see what we get all in all i think i have spent around 7k for this spc for this for for these market matchups and uh, if i'm able to get anything that is more than uh, 7k that would be great and i am hoping to get something more than 7k so i think what i would do is that uh, i think i would open this one first because this one only has one rare in it and let's just go ahead and open this one and see what we get. And it is not a board, but and it's not rare as well. It's a normal gold. But like I said earlier in the in the video, for example, as you guys can see, there is there is no one that sells for much. So what you guys want to do is you just you just want these players. Uh, you just want you just want to select these players and then send them back to your. Uh, squad you know and then use them in a in another spc and then let's go and open i think we'll open this pack first let's see what we can get in this one and i'll just go ahead i'll just go ahead and open it and it is a it is not a board player again and but it is a rare one so i think that's good it is a left mid uh from culture again i think i'm not quite sure who that one is and uh, I'm not sure that this player sells for a lot. So again, what I would do is I would send. Uh, I mean, this is the player that I use, so maybe I can sell him. You know, I think this is the guy from Bologna, so maybe that will give me some 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 profit back. And then I would sell these uh, back to my club. Let me see if these are going. I mean, let me see if if, if uh, these players are going for something. I'm not quite sure, but we can always uh, have a try and let's see if, I mean, he's not going for much. Uh, he's not going for much, I believe. Yeah, he's not going for much either. And I guess it's the same with this guy. 
But let's see how much is this one going for. Uh, I'm not quite sure about thing. No, this is, he's not going for much either. See, this is the thing with these uh, players. You know, the teams that are more hyped. The teams, for example, Galatasaray. You know, it's it's a it's a common league, and you would get players from from like a lot from that league. That's why th those are not uh, as expensive as the one that are from the from the lower leagues. You know, those silver players or like those bronze players. And I would just sell him to my transfer list. And that leaves us with a jumbo premium gold pack, premium gold players pack, and premium silver players pack. And I think I would go uh, and open this one first. So let's just go ahead and open it and uh, hopefully we can get something that we can sell for uh, for those SBCs, you know, from, from, from Australian League. And as you guys can see, we got someone from the the French league I believe and again here we don't I don't think we get anyone that I can sell for profit so again that is not good for uh, good for the good for the team because I mean we only left with two packs and from these two packs I hope that I can get a player that at least sells for more than worth spent on the on the team so let's just go ahead and open i think we, we go ahead and open this one first i hope we can get a board player in this one but let's just go ahead and uh, open it and see what we can get and it is not even a boards player it is a rare one but i'm not i don't think it's it would be a player that would sell for a lot i mean it's a striker it's it's Torres. that, that that's good because he is my favorite player i mean i know what happened to him after his injury and he's, he hasn't been as good but it's always good to see him so I'll, I'll take that one I mean you cannot sell these players like I said they're not selling for much and then all of this I think it's good that I mean we don't have to buy the contracts again and we don't have to buy fitness and we also get squad fitness I don't think this is selling for much I don't think these are selling for much and uh, I think that is all that I would send to the club and then all the rest I would just quick sell. I mean we won't make uh, much from it anyways. And that leaves us with our last pack which is a premium gold players pack. Honestly my really hope of getting something good because until now we haven't got anything good that, that I mean from which we can easily make a profit so I hope this one is a board at least and let's see what we get. And it's not even a board. That is actually surprising, to be honest. And uh, who is this guy? I mean, that's really low, low rated. And I am actually surprised that our backlog from uh, these SPCs. I mean, this guy again. I mean, I mean, it's the same guy that I use. I've got him again. I can use him for. I mean, I can sell him for. Uh, I think again, like one or one or one and a half k. But that's. Again, not a profit. So I think on a whole, this uh, marking matchups was not as 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 good. I mean, our back luck, even from those uh, daily famous SPC, haven't been as great. But I mean, I still enjoy doing these uh, SPCs, and uh, since packs are always based upon luck, we cannot complain much. But yeah, that would be that would be it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And uh, if you have any question, do ask, and I'll try my best to help you. And uh, that was it. I'll see you in the next one.